Welcome to week four, day number one in statistical analysis with Microsoft Excel. Hey, I'm going to click on the syllabus. Then in the table of contents, I'm going to click on the schedule. And there's our schedule. Now, we've already completed week one to three. This is the first day of week number four. And we have some great statistics in Excel to do this week. But in this video, I want to talk about test number one. Now, just as it says in the schedule, on this Thursday, I will email out in Canvas test number one. And here's the instructions. And down at the bottom, here's the great part. It's an Excel file. And there'll be problems exactly like the ones you studied in the videos. Now, the test instructions, you got to read through those. But the top part is particularly important. When you download the file, you have to make sure the file has the correct extension and it's named correctly. And I'll walk you through that in this video. If you're using Chrome to download the file, you right click and select Save Link As. In Edge, right click. And it's still Save Link As. In Firefox, right click, Save Link As. In all three cases, we're using this right click method to open the Save As dialog box. Here's the Save As dialog box. Now I'm going to navigate to a folder I already set up called Business 210 Test File. You can save it where you want. And in File Name, there's the name. And you may or may not see the .xlsm. I will show you how to change that extension in just a moment. But if you don't, then you look at the Save As Type dialog box. And make sure it says Microsoft Excel Macro Enabled Worksheet. Because in the test instructions, it requires you have that particular extension. To change the name, we can very carefully highlight your name. And where it says your name, I want you to put your name. And if your name is Sue Radculinator, without any spaces, Sue Radculinator. And then the rest of it is the same. So the two requirements are name it and make sure it has that file extension. Now I'm going to click Save. Once you've saved it, you can click Windows Explorer and then navigate to whatever location you saved it. And there it is. Now, if you just downloaded it and need to change the name later, select the file and use F2 to put it in edit mode and then rename your file. Now, if your computer doesn't show .xlsm, Windows Explorer, we have the View tab. And there's a checkbox for file name extensions. Now look, I can't see what the file extensions are. I don't know if it's a PDF or a .xlsx or .xlsm. But when I check this, bam, I can see those useful file extensions. Now one last thing. This is the test. And I, I don't want to open it and show it to you. But I am going to double click to open it. And guess what? The test is going to be set up just like the Excel files you used when you watch the videos. At the top, in yellow, will be instructions. You'll do your work in the spreadsheet. And there's the name of the problem. There's 10 in this workbook. All right, so we're looking forward to Thursday when I'll send it out. And then it's due on Monday at 9 AM. And don't forget the last two instructions. Have fun with stats in Excel. And go team.